Well, good morning, everybody. We're on our way to try and perform an animal rescue. On my way to work this morning, uh, as so often happens to me and, and really everybody here at Wildlife Solutions, um, we just come across situations with, uh, with injured and, and hurt animals and we step in and take action. On my way into work, I was coming up uh, the expressway and saw a sandhill crane that had been struck by a car that was trying to get out of the roadway but it was pinned up against a guardrail. Uh, its wing was sticking up like this. It's obviously got a broken wing. Um, for the purpose of trying to make sure it didn't immediately get hit by a car or that it didn't cause a wreck, um, I went ahead and turned around and uh, made an effort to get it off the main traffic area. Um, one of the things uh, when we were up there or that I, when I was there that I had to do was to circle around it and kind of really gently pressure it and walk it down along the guardrail until I could get it to drop off uh, onto the off ramp. Um, it went down to kind of into the grass and in the brush and laid down, which is good. Hopefully it's going to be there when we get back. But what I'm hoping that did was give me an opportunity to go get the right equipment, get prepared, get some reinforcements, get back out here and try to get it caught. It's probably been about 20 minutes since I was on the site and uh, we're going to hope it's there when we get there and, and really hope that we can catch it without uh, the bird sustaining any further injury or uh, running out into a roadway getting struck by a car. So we're going to have to be really careful that the bird doesn't get hurt and obviously we don't get hurt, you know. You're working right on the edge of traffic moving 70, 80 miles an hour. Um, you don't want to cause a wreck and uh, you don't want to risk your own life or, or the life of the animal you're trying to help. So we're on our way and uh, we'll be back to it. Uh, right here is the area where the bird is, is located, or at least was approximately 25 minutes ago when, when we last saw it. What I did is, is I, I, walked it, I walked it right up this guardrail and I got it to come down this hill and it came up behind all this reed grass and laid down uh, in, in the high grass there. At this point, what we're gonna do is uh, we've got Tim who's coming right behind us. We're gonna wait for Tim to get here. We'll get out of the truck, get our equipment ready and uh, come up with a strategy and how we're gonna approach this bird and uh, try to get it caught quickly. All right, everybody, we're on the site. The bird is located right down here in the ditch. We're gonna go over to the truck, get some of our gear and equipment. We're gonna need gloves. We're gonna need nets. We're gonna need uh, a face cloth because once we get that bird captured, we immediately need to cover its eyes. If you can blindfold the bird, it's gonna reduce its stress. It's gonna start uh, starting to calm down when it can't see what's going on around it. So we're gonna go get that stuff and come up with a plan for how we're gonna try to get this capture. So come along with me. We've got Tim here who's gonna give me a hand. Tim, I wanna make sure that you wear these gloves. Um, I've got some, some hand gloves. Got a couple of nets we're going to use. These will probably come in pretty handy. Got my blindfold. Got a rope to tie it on. And I've got some gloves. Now, I don't know if you can see where the bird is right now, but it's right down in the ditch. It's laying down. Um, it's injured, it's stressed, and so it's, uh, it's kind of chilling out trying to hide right now. What we've got working in our favor is, is the, the natural barriers of the landscape. We've got a big hill right here. It'll go up the hill, but there is a guardrail that'll stop it. Um, but what I like even better is this fence. You know, there's a six-foot fence on the other side of this road, and what we want to do is we want to try to narrow down and minimize it's escape paths, okay? So the more we can kind of corner it, the better we're gonna be able to get it. We're gonna to wanna to try to herd it across, uh, away, from the, away from the really fast traffic, get it across over here, and then use that fence as a barrier. Okay, so the worst case scenario, if we can't get a net on it and wants to go ahead and go somewhere. Push we want it to go that way, okay? So we're gonna approach it really slow, and, and we're gonna space out kind of from the top of the hill and kind of come down. We'll come really slow, stay low and stay quiet, and we're going to see if we can just get in close enough like this and bring a net kind of from behind and just place it over it. 
It's all about slow movements. As soon as it feels too much pressure or too much fear, it's gonna try to create that safe distance. So we wanna try to keep it calm and get in there and just gently get that net over the top, right? As you get the net kind of over the top, you need to come in quick and make sure you contain the head. Because okay. he'll try to move his head out from under the net as it comes down. Okay. okay, so let's give this a shot. Okay, now we got within about 15 feet and we are all already pressuring the bird. Let's stay along the hill um, and let's see if we can get past it. You can see it dragging its wing. Its wing is pretty well torn up. You can tell it's pretty tired. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let you get right here in this position, just a little bit from behind, okay? I'm gonna kinda get ahead of it to block. And uh, if it lays down again, we'll approach and try to do it. But actually, this is working in our favor. We don't wanna, we wanna do really slow pressure is what works well, so we don't stress the bird. All right. All right, this is pretty much going exactly how I hoped it would go. All right, Tim. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna try to make this thing thing, it doesn't really have an escape route. So work, walk farther to the right, a little bit faster. And you're, kind of, you're gonna wanna kind of approach it like you're coming in at kind of a 45 degree angle so that it doesn't think that any one route it takes is any better than another. Okay, start moving in kind of nice and slow. All right, Tim, come start kind of quartering into it a little bit. Come in kind of at an angle. Because when we get really close, what it's going to do, it's going to make a mad kind of burst to escape. As we get really close, it's going to make a burst to escape because it's going to feel trapped. So be ready, whichever it bolts, whichever way it bolts, to kind of get that net over it. 